Well, praise the Lord. Glad to have you with us tonight as we come in our healing and deliverance ministry here every Friday night. Increase in faith deliverance ministry. I want to give you a taste of what we do Friday night as we worship the Lord. It's just a celebration time in the Lord. And we do want to know that many of you are at home, but I know you're old. You're not old and locked in in a home, but you ain't. Holy Ghost that move in the building is still moving in. So we're going to worship God tonight. Run and tell somebody, come join the festivity. We're going to go live and go streaming with this gospel, praise and worship in the house. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way, as we say, sing until the glory of the Lord comes down. The power of God is going to show up in your environment, in your room, and you're going to know that it's the Lord. We, we just do it. We like to keep it simple and plain. We're not going by anything to make it complicated. We just want people that will worship. God in the beauty of holiness and worship him in spirit and in truth. So run, go tell your neighbor. Tell him, say, come on now. Apostle Fagan is on now. We're going to go worshiping the Lord God Almighty. And so we're going to pray to set the atmosphere right here. So run and call some others. Thank you for your anointing over this broadcast right now as we connect with people wherever they are right now the body of christ and those who are interested to become a part of the body of christ that as they hear the word tonight as they worship with us tonight their spirit will be encouraged their souls will be built up their spirit man will be built up your anointing will fall afresh upon them lord god and they'll be renewed in their faith towards you and towards your service and your worship and yield themselves as their bodies as a living sacrifice unto you, holy and acceptable unto your God. It's a reasonable service and that they will be transformed by the of their minds as they worship and praise you. Let your glory fill the room. Rebuke every powers of darkness and call your grace to just surround them like a shield. Hallelujah. Let your anointing now destroy every yoke and lift every burden. Shut the mouth of every soothsayer, liar, and all mudslingers. And let grace and favor come forth now for souls to be saved, bodies to be healed, minds to be renewed, spirit man to be built up. My God, and for your power to show up in awesome way that others who see and know tonight will know that this is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. Continue to lead and direct us now as we give you all the praise and all the glory that rightfully belongs to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Are you ready to praise him now? Glory to God. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And that you've indeed called some folk and tell them, come on, Apostle Fagan is on right now and we're going to worship. Be the dance partner. You know, when you're praising God, you need to have somebody who can encourage you. If they don't want to dance with you and you're all alone, you just tell them, say, excuse me. Let me praise my God because I'm here. I need to give him some worship. I need to give him some praise. So I wanted to focus upon the Lord. You know, get the distractions out of the room. And all the naysayers who are telling the holy corner, holy peace. And allow you to worship God now. Because God did to hear some praise. You're at home, and you, 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 but you're not calling the Lord. Because the same Lord working out there in the street, working in the church building. The same God still working in you right where you are right now. And you're going to join us in this praise and jump with anointing. Step in some devil head and let the Lord get the glory and the praise out of it. Are you ready with me? Come on, we're going to give him some praise. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Are you ready? <laughs> Clap those hands. Stamp your feet. Walk around and tell the devil it's time for him to back down. Hey. Tell the devil, you're coming for what you what is yours. Are you ready tonight? Yeah. Went to the enemy's camp and I took back what is all from me. Hey. Took back what is all from me. Took back what is all from me. I 
went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. I went to the enemy's camp. Come on. And I took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Yeah. Took back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp. And I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. Come on. I went to the enemy's. Whoa. And I. I hear you, I hear you. Come on, say it. Uh, took back what he stole from me. Hey, took back what he stole from me. Yes. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Hey, he's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. One more time. I went to the enemy's uh, and I. I hear you now. Took back what he stole from me. Yeah. Took back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp. And I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is under my feet. And I went to the enemy's. Come on, step on him. Took back what he stole from me. I Took back what he stole. Said I took back what he they said I went to the and I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet, he's under my feet. Satan is under my come on. Anybody know you're gonna take it back from the devil? He might think he got the last word. But you know who you serve. And you know we serve a victorious God. A miracle working God. Are you ready? Woo! Tell him he's under my feet. He's under my feet. Satan is. By force we are taking. By force. Come on. By force we are taking. Hey. We come here off it again and we now do well if it. We come here off it to keep. Yeah, yeah. By force we are taking by. Woo! By force we are taking by force. We come here off it again and we now go well if it. We come here off it. Hey, hey, hey. By force we are taking. I hear you. By force we are taking by force. Come here off it again and we now. Come here, one more time by force. Woo! By force, we are taking by force. Hey, come here, Pitaki, and we now go elephant. Come here, Pitaki. By force, we are taking by. Tell him, see, and now left in our face. Hey, we come here, Pitaki, and we now go elephant. Come here, Pitaki, by. Sons of God, arise, come on, say, sons of God. Hey, from the ends of the earth. Fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your feet. Sons of God, arise, come on, say, sons of God, arise. From the ends of the earth, arise. Fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your feet. Fire, fire, fire to the enemy. Fire, fire, fire to the enemy. Sons of God, arise, come on, say. Sons of God, arise. From the ends of the earth, arise. Fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your feet. Fire, fire, fire to the earth. Come on, burn it with fire, fire, 
fire to the end. We gonna burn him with fire. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, fire to the end. Fire, fire, fire to the end of me. Sons of God arise. Sons of God arise. From the ends of the earth arise. Fire in your hands. Fire in your mouth. Fire in your feet. Come on now. Keep the fire burning, burning. I hear you. Keep the fire burning, burning. of God, man, sons of God, hey, up from the ends of the earth, fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your, one more time, sons of God, arise, come on, sons of God, hey, up from the ends of the earth, Fire in your hands, fire in your mouth, fire in your feet. Come on, fire, 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 fire to the air. Fire, fire, fire to the air on me. Fire, fire, fire to the air. Come on, come on, come on. Step with the Holy Ghost step and give God some prayer, sons of God. Because you're rising up in your potential, in your victory, in the will of God. Let the devil know you're more than a conqueror. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Clap those hands and shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Whoa. Come on, step that step now around the house now. We marching out in the fire. Hey, we are marching in the light of God. All right. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, we are marching, light of God. We are marching, marching, we are marching, oh, hey, we are living in the light of God. Yeah, yeah, we are living in the light of God. We are living, living, we are living, oh, we are living in the light of God. We are living, living, we are living, oh, we are living in the light of God. Come on, we are dancing in the light of God. Woo! We are dancing in the light of God. Hey, hey, hey. We are dancing, dancing, we are dancing, oh, yeah, we are dancing, dancing, we are dancing, oh, Jesus, come on, say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, what about the Father, Father, Holy Father, 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 against Father, 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 
Father. What about the Spirit? Spirit. Hey. Spirit. Hey. Spirit. 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 Hey. So cast your burdens on Jesus for he cares. Your burdens on Jesus. Lift Jesus. Hey, lower, lower, push him. Lower, 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 lower. Stop Satan, lower. Lower, lower. Lower, 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 lower. It's a lower. Hey, super, super. What you got? Super, 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 super. Supernatural power. Super, super. I hear you. Run it. Give him higher, 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 higher. Lift him, lift him, lift him, lift him. Higher. Woo! Lift him, just high. Hey, pressure, pressure. Pressure, 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 pressure. Pressure, pressure. Watch it. Let him know. Under your feet. We must face trials and crosses in our way. Oh, the attack, the battle, the sweeter, the victory. Hey, press along, saints, press along in God. Hey, press along, saints, press along in God. Persecution, we must face trials and crosses in our way. Oh, but the utter, the butter, the sweeter, the victory. Come on, oppress. I feel like pressing. I feel like pressing. I feel like pressing my. Hey, I'm on my way to glow. And I feel like. I feel like person, feel like person, feel like person, my way. On my way to grow. And I feel, man, I know I'm person, I know I'm person, I know I'm person, my way. I'm on my way to grow. And I know, hey, 
one more time. I feel like person. I feel like person. I feel like person, man. Hey, I'm on my way to glow. And I feel like... Man, I know I'm pressing, and I know I'm pressing, no, I'm pressing my way, on my way to glory, and I know it's a fight, I'm stepping on go, it's a fight, I'm stepping on go, my father is a millionaire, Stepping on my father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on step each step I take. I'm stepping on each step I take. I'm stepping on my father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on. My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on go. One more time. Each step I take. I'm stepping. 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 Each step I take. I'm stepping on go. My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on go. My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on go. Come on, somebody give God a praise. Every day you're getting closer. Every day you're getting stronger. Every day you're loving the Lord more. God is working it out for your good. Let them know it's not over till it's over. And God's got the last word. Come on, give him the praise. Hey, put out that foot. Clap that hand. Step in a Jesus. Step in a, step in a Jesus. In a Jesus name. Faith walk. Faith step. Faith walk. Faith step. Faith walk. Faith step. You ready? Come on, come on. Let me see some go off your dancers now. Ah. Uh. Coming in the name of Jesus, we got our armor on, and we come to war in Jesus' name. Come on, raise your banner high, raise your flag, give God a praise. Uh, let the devil know you're coming in victory. Woo! God's got it. God's got it. God's got it. Yeah. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. Somebody praise it. Somebody worship. Somebody give it. Stop. My God. Ha! In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We got the power in Jesus' name. We're treading on the devil in Jesus' name. COVID can't touch us in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, we come in the power. We come in the anointing. We come in the blood, Jesus Christ. Every devil, every devil got to fall. Every weapon from against us cannot prosper. Come on, give him praise. Huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> hallelujah. 
My God, you know when you're in that kind of worship, the devil is in trouble. Because he don't like to see you praising God. But David said it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto his name. And the devil always wants to stop a good thing. But in Christ we are more than conquerors, more than overcomers through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's not by sight, it's by faith. Because we know the word of God cannot lie. And I tell you, no matter what your circumstances is right now, you just got to have faith. Have the God kind of faith. Hallelujah. That you don't allow the circumstance to dictate who you are and where you're going to make it and tell you how you're going to live. Because your life is not in the circumstances. Your life is hid in Christ. If you are born again, washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, and filled with his Holy Spirit, you have a life in Christ that is above human life. And he said, you got to connect with that. Believe and walk in faith knowing that you are already victorious. Not going to be victorious. Already. Because God has said it. And no devil can prove God's word to be a lie. So you just trust in God. You don't watch what the naysayers are saying. You just listen to what God is saying. And focus on him. Hallelujah. And understand his power. And his ability working in you. Praise God. You ready to worship him now? You got to take some time to worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you love him? Church, do you love him? Whoa. I love him, I love him, I love him. How about you tonight? God has been so good to you. Ah, there are things in your life that still need to change. Things that you want to come around and be in a better position. But thank God for what he's already done. Hallelujah. Don't look at the things that aren't done yet. But look at what he's already done for you. And worship him in the beauty of holiness. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody might feel rejected. Feel like they're all alone in this. Feel like the friends and the family have turned their backs on them. But I want to encourage somebody tonight as we sing this song to encourage your faith. Remember that you belong to the Lord. I'm not my own. <laughs> I belong to Jesus. Yeah. I'm not my own. I belong to him. He bled and died oh. on Calvary. Oh, glory to God. I'm not my own. I belong to him. Come on, leave those hands and say, I'm not my own. Yeah, yeah. I belong to Jesus. I'm not my own. Yeah. I belong to him. He bled and died. Somebody, I'm not my own. No. I belong to Jesus. Hey, I 
I'm not my own. I belong to him. He bled and died on Calvary. Whoa. I'm not my own. Come on, somebody. No matter what you're going through, believe that the Lord is with you right now. He promised never to leave you nor forsake you. He says, Child, you belong to me. When your mother and your father forsake you, And the Lord himself will pick you up. The first shall be the last. The last shall be the first. He has not forgotten you. Cheer up my child. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. Yeah. I'm not my own. Woo. I belong to him. He bled and died on Calvary. I'm not my own. Woo. I belong to him. and your for a night yeah. but joy cometh in the morning light yeah. they may turn it back on you curse you like a dirty dog but there is one up above who is looking down in tender love and said child you're still mine I will never forsake you. Look to me and live. Whoa. He did it for me. He'll do the same for you. I'm not my own. I belong to Jesus. Hey. I'm not my own. Hallelujah. I belong to him. Oh, take your Lord. He bled and died on Calvary. Woo! I'm not my own. Hey. I belong to him. I can't live I used to live. And folks will scorn. Folks will misunderstand. Yeah. But I owe too much to Jesus. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. for myself I belong to the Lord I'm not my own <laughs> I belong to Jesus yeah. I'm not my own I belong to him Lord for choosing me
thank you, Lord, for saving me. can't let you down because I know my life belongs to you Lord I'm not my own yeah. I belong to Jesus yeah. and I'm not what you say tonight to him he bled and died yeah. on Calvary yeah. hallelujah I'm not my own I belong to him thank you Lord Come on, worship him. Let your praise ascend in the room. Let the glory of God be felt in your very presence. Woo! He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Woo. Humble yourself on the mighty hand of God. Thank you, Lord. Get in his presence. In your presence, that's where I belong. Your presence, oh Lord, my God, in your presence, that's where I belong, seeking your face, touching your grave, in the cleft of the rock, hallelujah. Presence, oh Lord, in your presence, that's where I belong. In your presence, oh Lord, my God, in your presence, that's where I belong. In your presence, oh Lord, my God, in your prayer, that's where I am strong, seeking your face, touching your grace, in the cleft of the Oh Lord, 
I'm seeking your face, uh, touching your grace. Uh, in the cleft of the road, in your presence, oh Lord, in your presence, oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In your presence, oh Lord. In your presence, oh Lord. Oh God. In your presence, oh Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to be where you are. <laughs> Dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. I just want to be where you are. In your dwelling place forever. Take me to the place where you are. I just want to be with you. I want to be where you were. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I am. Wanna be, I just wanna be, Lord. I just wanna be with you. I wanna be where you were, dwelling in your presence, feasting at your table, surrounded by your glory. In your presence, that's where. wanna be I just wanna be I just wanna be with you hey. I just wanna be I just wanna be hey. I just wanna be I just want to be, just want to be with you. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. some big award. Uh, it's not about the praises of me. All I ever wanted. Uh, all I've ever wanted. Hey, I just want to be want to be thank you Lord just spend the time let his presence refresh you right now just get intimate getting close with God now he says draw nigh unto him draw nigh unto you. He wants to hear your voice in the room. Come on, somebody. Won't you let him in, let him in, let him in. He wants to touch you. He wants to heal you. He wants to restore you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, somebody. I sense his presence in the room. <laughs> holy, holy. Come on. Right where you are now. Make an altar. And worship the King of Kings. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. 
Thank you, Lord. What can I offer to the King of Kings? What can I give for all his blessings? I stand in awe of you. <laughs> and streams through and through. There is nothing I can hide from you. You're so glorious. <laughs> Lord, you're awesome. Oh, Lord, my 
Mamosanda. I worship you. Yelabosa. Worship you. Lord my God. Robose Terebesa. Lord, I worship. Come on, just wave your hands and worship. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uraba boshi kere bosha, kere bosha na la masitu. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Lord. I love you. You are my king. You are my Lord and my everything. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Kings will bow before you. Nation shall come to your God. They are coming to worship the King of Glory. <laughs> From nation to nation. The kingdom of men will fall. But your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Yeah. Forever and ever. <laughs> God, your truth endure it to all generations. Hey, hey. Oh Lord, oh Lord, hey. oh Lord. Look. Still the same, still the same. Every knee shall bow before you. Every tongue shall confess to you. And you are Lord. <laughs> Seated on the right hand of majesty. Waiting in your glory. blind eyes shall see hallelujah I worship you I worship I worship you holy one I worship you I worship you, Robo Shama. <laughs> Lord, I worship you, oh God. Yes. No one else deserves the praise. <laughs> One else deserve the glory. Oh yes. You are my redeemer. You are my savior. My Lord and my King. 
worship you. Come on, come on, come on. I worship you. Oh God. I worship you. Only one. They both shout. I worship you. time I worship you Robose worship you I worship you holy God I worship you hey, hey, hey. worship you There's nothing like worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And I tell you, there's no greater way to worship him than when you have truly submitted to the King of Kings and allowed him to cleanse you from all unrighteousness, to fill you with his Holy Spirit and to bring you into his everlasting arms, transform you into a new being. One that is made after Christ in all true righteousness and holiness. Hallelujah. And the Lord wants you to know that experience. Talk about it. Ha! Ah. But he wants you to know that life. That life is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And there is no life like it anywhere else. There's no other life that can be compared to this life. This life of God in Christ. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, you got to move out of that box of religion and tap into that life that is in Christ Jesus. It's not Christianity. It's Christ. Christ in us. The hope of glory. It's not Christianity that saves. It is Christ that saves. It's not Christianity that died on the cross. I was buried in the tomb, not rose on the third day. But as Peter declared, he is the Christ. The son of the living God. And Jesus said to Peter, flesh and blood have not revealed this to you. But this is my father in heaven 
that I've told you, I've revealed to you who I truly am. And he said, blessed are you, Peter, because it's upon this rock I build my church. Some believe that Jesus was saying there that he's building the church upon Peter. Peter means rock or stone. But no, he's building it upon the confession and the revelation of Christ in the earth. That Christ is the son of the living God. This same Jesus, Peter said in Acts 4 verse 12, he says, There is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved than the name of Jesus Christ. And he's letting us understand that there is power in this name. That even a man who was lame was risen, given new life in those feet. He didn't have to go through any therapy. That man got up and walked. When they said, Peter and John said to him, silver and gold have we none. But look at us. As much as we have, we give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That was not Christianity. That was Christ. And Peter said, this was Christ. He says, it is in the name of everyone. The same one they called an imposter, a deceiver, a lawbreaker, a wine bibler, one who is a demon to cast out demons and other names that were just placed in their mouth by Satan who was deceiving them. But those who listen to the Father will know that God cannot lie. And the Father has declared that this is my Son in whom I'm well pleased. He didn't come here to start a religion. He says in John 3, Verse 16 to 18, he says, I didn't come to condemn the world, but that the world through me. The world will not be saved through another religion. It won't be saved through Christianity. It will be saved through Christ. Christ is the only antidote God has made and given for sin and for the transformation of men into true children of God and to our place in his kingdom and we got to come through this Christ he is the way the truth and the life and he says God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world although many people will think that's what Christ came to do because they have had a taste of a lot of persons that represent the religion Christianity Christianity will condemn the world and condemn people but Christ did not come to condemn the world. He says that the world through him might be saved. But you can't be saved outside of him. And that's why he says in verse 18, he who believes in him is not condemned. But he who does not believe is condemned already. Why is he condemned already? He says, because he has not believed. He has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the message we have received. That God gave us this life. And this life is in his Son. And any man had not the Son, had not life. Praise God. As in 1 John chapter 5. Hallelujah, I believe verse 18 to 20. He says there, you got to know where the true life is. This life in this body is temporary. But there's a life that God has come to give us that is beyond this temporary life. That is beyond human life. Human life is fading from the day it has sin till now. But God didn't come to start a new human life. He come to start a new life in the earth. And he called those new beings his children. And if it was just humans coming back, then Paul would not say we don't know what we shall be when he appear. 
but when he appear we shall be like him you see if we know that we're coming back as humans he will know what we shall be when he appear but he says we don't know what we shall be when he appear what we shall look like when he appear he said this won't look like anything human hallelujah because he's coming in all his glory he's coming in all his glory church and he says his church his bride his people that are made after him through the word of god the indwelling of the holy spirit and the connection with the heavenly father they are true children legitimate children of god not some wannabes namesake but he says genuine children of god as the son is so are they hallelujah because god has an intention that through this son many sons would come and he's saying this son was did not come to remain the only son he come to bring a harvest of sons and he says just the same way when the son show up he start to cast out demons heal sick cause the blind to see the deaf to hear the lame to walk the dumb to speak lepers who had incurable disease to be cured he says those sons are arising in the earth and paul says that you got to understand that the whole earth all creation for the manifestation of those sons they are the master key to unlocking the glory in the earth because the earth was made for them it was not heaven that was made for them the earth was made for them and the earth is locked up is kept in its state right now until its true sons had manifested and come in their full glory then the earth true glory and reveal its newness as God has made it in its original state to be and even far more glorious now that it's in its full range of what intended and purpose for it made it to inhabit and so we got to know he says in first John 5 verse 18 20 he says we know that whoever is born of God does not sin sin is the major problem and killer and destroyer in the world it's not corona sin it is because of sin man even make that in a lab and cause that for many people to be sick right now it's because of the sinful state of men's heart why they made those deadly disease to harm other men and not noting that it can come very well at them same way and many of them are suffering because of it and think yes they can guard themselves but there is a god up in heaven that see their wicked works but it says that the major problem in this this world is sin that's what jesus christ came to eradicate it wasn't about giving people house and land and clothes and food if it was all about that nobody would be hungry in the earth when jesus come but people were hungry people were naked people were homeless people were dying people were sick all of those things was happening not everybody who was around jesus and was and sick around jesus was healed it's those who came to him and believed in him was healed but even those who were healed he still was telling them sin the sin problem has to be dealt with in their life it is one that will have eternal impact upon their soul and will banish them from the kingdom of god and you got to understand it says we know that whoever is born of god is first john 5 verse 18 we know that whoever is born of god does not sin but he who has been born of God keeps himself and the wicked one does not touch him come on and the wicked one you see when people forget their purpose they forget that is the key role we are here to do because even after Jesus started to feed the multitude with fish and had to run him down for fish 
He because you don't want them to come just a fish and love you, just telling them when they eat, they but if they hear the word that is given, save their soul, they will live for it. It gives them life. It's not for you. And you never those things can be at the mission to have to make the sign of that the first man of God does not under this And so is the way of this. And we know that the Son of God and as and then we can talk us through his word. This is his word, his doctrine is not his, but what the Father told him to say, that's what he said. And he said. him Ooh. in him God eternal life him and eternal life the life of God in Christ is eternal life and Christ is God in human flesh. And he says, we have that life in him. That is holy. Justice and holiness. have not left. come on because he's telling you Christ come on somebody the true life is in him and so you can't experience the true life until you have made that decision a heartfelt true decision to truly surrender to him as your Lord and your Savior. Don't play with it. Don't joke it out. Don't just say, Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner. And think that's it. Because some playing games here. Trying to quote scripture that Jesus said with a man in the temple that said, Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner, and leave. And say, he was more justified when he prayed. He was made righteous not to enter back in sin and keep repeating every time he come in the temple. Lord, forgive me, I'm a sinner. No. When you are forgiven as a sinner, you are made responsible, accountable. You cannot just say, I'm forgiven, that's it, so I can sin again. And know that I can always ask him to forgive me. No. He said to the woman who was caught in adultery, 
he said to her go your way and sin no more I don't condemn you he says but go your way and sin no more the, the accusers were left were gone her sins were forgiven he forgave her but he still didn't release her without a word of responsibility and accountability a charge that was laid upon her go your way and sin no more many have forgotten that part and all they want to say is that without sin cause the first one nobody don't guilty without sin so everybody know he's sinning and all of us are sinners it's not true you need to read this word i'll give you first john 5 verse 18 to 20 and see if it is speaking against what you are speaking because it is the word of god see if it is going against what you believe because you need to believe the word of god jesus is the word of god become flesh and that dwell among us and he says that word came to give us spirit life in him and he says this life is not the life that we had before he came while we were living in sin sinful and controlled by our flesh and all sinful cravings and appetites and our wayward spirits that were controlling us and all kind of idolatry and immorality and uncleanness uh -uh. he says now you are made into a new creature all things are passed away and all things become new embrace that life come on ask the lord to put that in you as when that life enters you it's not a uh, just some thought some idea that you believe on or some ideal you wish to try to reach which you can't really reach but you're trying all your life but god will give you marks for effort no it's a real life and it says that life is in christ jesus you cannot know that life anywhere else or through any other means you cannot go through any other door to find it he is the door he is the way he is the truth he is the life and he says you can't know that unless you receive him receive of his holy spirit and walk in accordance with his word and he says that life is manifested in you the life of God in Christ for the Word of God said it is God in Christ reconciling the world to himself it is God in Christ reconciling the world to himself hallelujah and we who have been reconciled to him are no longer a part of the world because he said we have been sanctified by him set apart washed in his blood filled with his holy spirit transformed into new beings that are now called children of god not mere children of men anymore but now children of god and he says flesh and blood will not inherit the kingdom of god but we who are his children will inherit the kingdom and the word of god said it is his good pleasure to give his kingdom to those who obey him who do his will we must understand we, the will of the lord is for us to believe on the one who has sent jesus christ and to apply his word in our lives if we do that i'm telling you you will experience something greater than religion it will never be religion for you again you won't go to church for religious reasons you won't join some religious church but you'll join the true body of the living holy ghost filled devil chasing people of god who are really holding up their faith for the world to see and are walking in true holiness and righteousness they are not making excuses for sin they're not accommodating it and claiming their old state but recognizing and declaring their new position in Christ and knowing that it will never be the same they will never be the same again as how they were before because they're moving from glory to glory and God wants to experience that 
don't wait until it is too late two things i say to every unbeliever who's watching and want to be a part of the kingdom of god two things you don't know he says you don't know when the lord will return for the word of god says no man know the day nor the hour when he will return and whenever i return whatever state he find you in you don't have any chance to repent or to say lord forgive me that moment because whatever state he found you in that will be the state on which you are judged and the other thing you don't know you don't know when you will die so you could die before he come this body could die before he comes and then your state would still be remain the same if you died in your sins you'll perish and you're just waiting the wrath of God and the judgment of God against your life and we're saying that that can change it doesn't have to be that way for you if you truly embrace the word of God and said Lord I believe all things are possible reveal your glory to me reveal Christ to me that I will know the truth and the truth will set me free lead me into a true family of God who can support and nurture my growth in you and help to teach me mentor me and train me as a true disciple of Christ and the Lord said he surely will because it is his intention it is his will to do that for you that you will know his power you will know his glory and I'm telling you you need to embrace and know what God wants to do in you because there's no other way that you can know this life but through him and I pray that as you watch this broadcast you will make that decision tonight and say father forgive me of my sins I believe Jesus is the Christ the son of the living God he died for my sins let his blood now wash me cleanse me from all my sins Lord I forgive those who have done me wrong I release them out of my spirit because I need your forgiveness I can't harbor hatreds and bitterness in my heart anymore create in me a clean heart oh God and renew the right spirit within me and you can ask him to fill you now with your with his holy spirit and let your holy spirit lead you in the path of righteousness connect you with the right people reveal his purpose in your life and you will fulfill your purpose in serving him and revealing his nature in you before others that the gospel will, will, will be revealed in your life don't be just heard don't be just talked about but you will become a walking testimony of the proof of Jesus words his word will become flesh in you and you will be the standard that others can look upon and say surely he lives look at that one how he's living no one else it could be but Christ living in them and that's what your testimony will be if you embrace truth and go all the way you hit repent and be baptized and be and go to a Bible believing pastor teacher church that will truly teach you in the Word of God don't leave it up to them alone to teach but listen to the Holy Spirit that you have prayed for to lead and to direct you in truth and don't be biased or partial or choosing one that you want to choose but allow him to lead you to one that he has chosen for you that he better to fit the purpose that he want to accomplish in your life so I pray that you continue to seek the Lord and continue that faith journey and don't leave it up to chance now but keep on building in your faith in the Lord right now we're going to pray for the believers as they are right now wherever they are whatever the circumstances in their life I want to pray for you I want to pray for your homes pray for your children your mother your father your sister your brother sons and daughters 
auntie, neighbors, cousins, niece, whoever is in the house. The word of God says, when light is lit and put on a lampstand, it gives light to everyone in the house. Hallelujah. And we want to experience the life, the life of God in Christ in your very presence right now. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we come to you and we plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every home, over every person watching and listening to this broadcast right now. That your anointing will destroy every yoke, every demonic encroachment and entanglement and curse and spells and evil beings lying or hiding around them. We bind and shut them down now and cancel the operation from around them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus come upon that womb. The blood of Jesus Christ upon that family. The blood of Jesus Christ over their finances. The blood of Jesus Christ over their health. The blood of Jesus Christ over their relationship. The blood of Jesus Christ over their ministry, the blood of Jesus Christ over their minds, over their bodies, the blood of Jesus Christ. We defeat every work of Satan now with the blood. For you said without the, the, the blood, there's no remission of sin. And where there's no sin, oh God, there's grace that is being released through the power of your Holy Spirit to make right those things that are wrong, to make those crooked parts straight, to declare victory and glory in the house and in the lives of your people. Reverse every activity of Satan now. Push him back back Lord. Push him back out of that place. Drive out those unclean spirits, those spirits hovering over that house, weighing down the spirits, causing contention and strife and disharmony in the home. We plead the blood of Jesus against it and command the house of hell to leave in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that your angelic host now fill the room. Hallelujah. Fill the room Lord. Cover them. Hallelujah. Uh, from every hurt and harm and evil. Everything the enemy has sown in their flesh. Every sickness and disease and dysfunction. We rebuke it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. We command it to leave their bodies. Leave. Right now in the name of Jesus. Come out. Unclean spirit. Command you right now to leave. You have no authority there. You know who's speaking to you. And you got to go right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Yes, Lord. And let your angelic host now fill the room, Lord. And remove by fire everything that is not of you. In the name of Jesus. Let your presence now fill the room, Lord. Your fragrance fill the room. Wash the room with your presence now. Saturate the people with your presence now. Clear their minds and their thoughts, their heart, Lord, before you right now. Let them sense a lift in the room right now. I know that you have assigned your angelic host to protect, to heal, to deliver, to cancel the works of Satan, and to establish your kingdom in their midst. Let them see you high and lifted up. Let them sense, oh God, great change and miracle signs and wonders over their lives right now. Come on now, anybody, just start to move around your body and see if anything there has moved. Check yourself, start to give God some praise. If you felt the touch of the Lord and the hand of the Lord move something on your body. But you feel something cool or something just shifted, just start to give God praise. Don't ignore it. Don't pretend like it didn't happen. Don't be silent. Open your mouth. It's you who got it. Don't care who want to talk. It's you that needed it. You give God the praise right now. And understand that God that's doing it for you. To bring you into his glory. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. So right now. Come on, just wave your hands and praise God everywhere. Wave your hands and praise him. Let his glory fill the room. Don't be ashamed to wave your hands before the Lord and to tell him thanks. Start to give him thanks right now. Start to give him thanks. Thanks. When you have a thankful heart, depression cannot stay. Habo shatarabasa. Oppression got to go. Every heaviness got to go. Because a thankful heart is a merry heart. And a merry heart gives praise. And the spirit of praise, the garment of praise, destroys the spirit of heaviness. Hallelujah. Depression cannot stay. 
where there's a praising soul. So come on, give God some praise in the room. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Watch what God is going to do. Watch what God's going to do. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now we want to pray over many of your finances. We know financial issues are troubling a lot of persons right now because of this corona and lockdown that they're having around the state and around the nation. But believe me, God is bigger. I don't expect less from God in a time of need. I expect more. Because you see, it's when you're in need that you need it more. It's not when you have it locked that you need it. And God is, and is not short to give it to you. He's not lacking anything to do it for you. He spread a table for his people, even in the desert, and provided for them. And he can do it for you even now, because he's the same God. And he has no, there's no shadow of turning in him. Hallelujah. And so right now, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your finances. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your home. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your debts, your financial responsibilities, your business, your workplace, your job. I pray that favor, increase will, motion will, job, who are even, business and strategies will come to those who are even out of business, that they will raise up and and before see the hand of the Lord and know that this is the Lord's doing don't let the devil tell you no lie don't let the devil tell you it can't happen don't let the devil come to tell God he can't do it that devil is a liar God can do it God can God can it is nothing impossible with God if you believe and receive that word come on say amen Praise God. Hallelujah. Now give a great hallelujah. Praise God. Bless the name of Jesus. Now God's going to do things for you. Keep locked into this broadcast. We stream on Facebook on Richard Fagan. And you can see it also on our website on www.increasingfaithintl.org. Hallelujah. It will give you information there about our website. And you can go there and see postings of our crusades that we have had. So there's a lot of material there now. Our media team have been really working to put them together. And you can have them to watch and to encourage your faith. We, we have two weeks crusade meetings, 14 nights of consistent preaching and teaching the gospel of the kingdom every year from in the month of August and we have it for you there you can watch it there I believe they have 2018 and 2019 I think 2019 is being loaded I'm not sure if all of them is up yet but but we know that it's coming and so you'll be able to see all of them and we're coming with 2020 now to give it to you shortly and so we know it's all going to come together we're going to give the word this issue and, and this pandemic that is going on will not stop us from giving you the word in fact we're going all out and you're going to get far more <laughs> not less because we are putting in pulling out all the stops and allowing God to use this media this medium to reach as many people as possible and we know that God's going to bring it to as many people as possible. The devil can't stop it, block it, or trap it. Because God is in it. And he's the one who's steering this into where it must go. And this ministry is one that is founded and birthed by God. And God is moving mightily in this ministry. You need to hear some of the testimonies that people testify in this place. And some just find it even hard to believe. But the testimonies are still coming in. Hallelujah. Even now. And I tell you, people have testified about getting increase in their salary even now. And we had testimony of that even last week. And even now, persons have testified about promotion on the job. Even now, while people are being released from their job. They're getting promotion. You know, and people are getting increase on their salary. I mean, people are getting job. People are getting ideas for business and seeing better money in their business than they were, they were at the, on the job. 
So I'm telling you, you don't have to allow this whole thing to cramp and paralyze your hope and your joy in the Lord and to think that somehow it's doomsday for you. No, it's never doomsday for you. It's always doomsday for those who believe in him. But those who believe in him will not perish. Come on. But have everlasting life. God has declared it to you. And he's backing it up with his power. Because it's not just word. It's power. And power backing up that word will demonstrate and manifest his kingdom in your life. His governance in all your fears. And show you that you are not some disadvantaged, left behind, scraping through life person. But God is calling you as true children to rise and shine and give him the glory. Praise God. And so we want you to come into the fullness and run with the message and tell others about this broadcast. And follow also on YouTube. Have a YouTube channel there that we broadcast all of these teachings and you can follow up on us on there and you can also write requests on our website. You know our website is there already. I told you about the website which is Increase in Faith. I-N-T-L dot O-R-G. And you can go there and make prayer requests. There's a form there you can fill out and make prayer requests. You can also fill out the form and give praise report. If there's a praise report anyone that got, got healing, you can also write to me or send that post to me. I'll post it there for them to other persons can hear it. My WhatsApp number is 876-839-9390. 876-839-9390. And you can WhatsApp me, maybe a video testimony of yourself and tell us what happened when we prayed or something that God did for you. And we'll turn to put it on the website for others to see and hear what God is doing through this ministry and in the lives of these people as they believe in him and see his power manifest in their lives. And so we encourage you to do so. Anyone feels led to so to this ministry, we don't pressure people to do so. We know people, when people are really blessed by our ministry, we don't have to beg them to so. They just so because they know what it means and the difference that it has made in their life. And so we know if, it is, if you are led to sowing this ministry, I can tell you you are sowing in good ground. Because everybody who has sown has testified of what they have received since they have sown and that has encouraged more to sow. So we don't have a problem with sowing where we are because people still sowing because they know it works. And we teach them in the faith for them to know how to work it too. Hallelujah. So you can sow to us. Or if you don't trust sowing online, you just call the number that I gave. And I'll tell you how you can do it that you, you won't be in the hand of any scam or, or end up in any way to jeopardize your information. Hallelujah for your credentials. And so we pray that you continue to be with us, continue to worship with us, and be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Praise God. I just release a blessing over you and your household until we meet again. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you. Keep praying for us as we keep praying for you. And send those reports in so we can rejoice with you in what the Lord has done. Have a great night. Bless you all.